to crafting with Laurel. I'm making a rope bowl. I'm going to add this seashell to the inside. Working on this one a couple of days. Um, I have a new job now. I think some of y'all know. The new job just um, <laughs> it works. This is the a lot of work. So Laurel ain't been in. Uh, mm, I can't even talk today. I haven't had the energy to do anything. I use up all my energy at work. I don't know if I'm spoiled or getting old. <laughs> well, being out of work for that month and a half and just doing the air and B once in a while. I guess I got a little lazy? No, heck no. That's just a lot of work over there. Anyway, I thought I'd come on and hang out with y'all. I know I got my few... Well, hi, we got nine people. Miss Vicky, hi, Sharon. What? I'm working on. Oh, I'm working, so I'm kind of listening. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just. Today's my second day off. Um, they worked a mess out of us in the last three days that I did work. There's a convention. It's uh, 100 police and sheriffs staying at the hotel I'm working at. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some of the cops were kind of good looking. <laughs> nope. Run! <laughs> but yeah. There's quite a few female uh, cops too. Yeah, there was CS, C, CIA. There was a truck that had uh, CIA on the side of it. And undercover, hey, I know what undercover cars look like now. <laughs> the parking lot was so full of cars. There was only a few that were actually, you know, say police or uh, sheriff on it. They might be in their personal cars too. Anyway, that's pretty cool. But that's a lot of rooms. Yeah, I got out of there, what, what day was that? It was two days ago. Um, it was almost six o'clock, and we had to get all them rooms ready for all them police and whoever else was coming. Needless to say, 148 rooms are packed right now. <laughs> Thank God I'm off today, but... Oh my goodness, tomorrow, ooh, I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah, I work at a Marriott hotel. It's pretty cool working there, but we're 
short of employees, not just housekeeping. What is it? Why don't people want to work now? There's more older people working than the younger folks. Well, I guess they're doing what I'm doing right now on the internet trying to make money, right? <laughs> hmm. I missed the boat on that one. Ooh, this is going to be cute. Now, what else do I want to do to this fold? I was thinking about putting some ribbon on it. I'm, I'm going to put the seashell on it. Do I want this ribbon? Or do I want this ribbon? Alright, i got to look at these ribbons a little bit better. Ooh! Um, the cleaner that I use is drying out my hands even worse than what I'm used to. Hang on, I'm going to check out the comments. We got to look at this and see which one we want. I think this has got too much purple in it. Alright, I got real snagged fingers right now. Do I have another blue? Hmm. This one might look good. What do you think? Because the government takes care of them. What, the police? The police. I think this is too dark. Alright, I'm digging. I got my ribbon stash right here. Oh, that's got too much purple in it. Alright. No more blues. Come on now, I gotta have some more blue. I don't see any more blue, y'all. Oh, well. This, I think this will be cute. Hmm. Oh, the young people. Well, if you use PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, and all of that, you gotta do $10.99 this year. So, Uncle Sam's sticking his fingers in it again. Yep, Uncle Sam. I want to meet that fella. Alright, I got a mess here. Hang on. This is why you have to keep a rubber band on it. Now this ribbon here, see how it's all twisted? Some ribbon is real twisty like that. Oh, my fingers. <laughs> All right. I need some of that lotion nurses use. All right. Yeah, right here, my skin is real dry. I put lotion on, but it, I still got some snags on my finger. Not fun. All right, so... I think I'm going to do a row of plain. Isn't that cute? All I did was wrap string around the rope. So if you're going to ask me what I use this uh, string. <laughs> I answered it for you, Sharon. <laughs> it is string. I wrap string around the rope. It's a multicolor uh, string. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. I used to macrame with it. I used to make um, bracelets, ma macrame. <clears throat> um, I don't have any around me right now. It's in the living room. But you could even use uh, this this kind of string and wrap around it. 
Just get creative, y'all. Get creative. You can use embroidery floss. Y'all know my spill. <laughs> hmm. All right, so I'm going to do, I don't know, maybe one or two rows. All right, how? I'm looking at the bowl, see if I want to manipulate the shape. Huh. I think I do. All right, manipulating the shape. I, I've got it all the way up right now against my nose. So now I'm going to pull it backwards like that. And it's going to give a, a open look. So I'm put, I put my two fingers. Here, let me show you. I got my fingers pushing it outward. So this is how you manipulate. Am I saying that right? No, nope, it don't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> configuring the shape yeah. is that a better word I'm pushing out with my two fingers I'm pushing it in the middle so I'm making a different shape so it's going to widen it know why I'm doing it but why not why not my bowls hardly ever are planned hardly ever planned my bowls usually do what they want to do or I just you know want to experiment all right, it's starting to curve out now. I'm going to do another row. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Stuck again. Nope, I hadn't got new feed dogs yet for my sewing machine. I've been too busy. So it should be going out flatward. All right, let's check it out. I gotta take it off anyway because I want to wrap it. All right, there we go. Can you see it? See how it's coming outward? So I did two rows. It's going outward. Looks like a soup bowl. All right, now I want to wrap. <laughs> this is going to give me the, the chilly willy, creepy willies. Did I zoom in? Woo, that was pretty. Hi, Gail. How are you? Uh-oh. Gail from Texas. Hi. I'm in North Carolina. All right, so I'm going to wrap a row or two or I let my bowls tell me what they want. I just pick colors and like that seashell, I'm going to put the seashell in here. Y'all know how I decorate. So I'm going to put that seashell in there once I get it to where I want it and see if it's the look I want so mostly I just pick colors when I'm doing bowls and I usually let it do its own form or add something create something I hardly ever plan something every once in a while I get a bright idea and it I can't go to sleep. Like, ooh, I wonder if that'll work. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to wrap. I'm wrapping ribbon with snaggy fingers. All right, I'm twisted up here. Oh, twisted. 
What do you think? Yeah, too much. You think that's going to be too much? Let's see, I got the blue spot in the seashell. Sometimes you just got to look at it. Hmm. Maybe I should add some more string. What do you think? Let me know what you think. Add more string or the ribbon? You think it looks good? I don't know, my eyes like pull into the to the ribbon. Maybe it's the green that's throwing it off for me. I don't know, let's go with it. Shoot. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. I think it's... I think the ribbon's a little bit much. Alright, where'd my seashell go? We could use brown from this, but I think that would take away from it, too. I think it needs some more string. I think the ribbon is too much right now. We could... You know what? I think I'm going to do one row of ribbon, and then I'll do the rest with, with the string. Why not? All right, my seashell's going to get lost in a minute. The seashell I got from a piece of fabric that was Alexander Henry. Don't you just love his fabrics? I think it was a fat eighth that I... It's got some real pretty seashells on it. They're big, but... Yeah, Alexander Henry. He's got some cool prints. Some of them you like, that's his? I'm like, oh, shoot. <laughs> hmm. I can't remember if I bought that piece or somebody gave it to me. It looked like a fat eight, so it looks like I might have bought it. Sometimes I look on Etsy for scrap fabrics. And sometimes I look on eBay. And then if I'm looking for a certain a certain print or something, I usually find it on Etsy. See my finger just snagged a darn ribbon. Come on now, stop doing that. But yeah, I live close to the ocean, so I tend to grab fabrics that have seashells. Or I found some that had um, footprints in the sand. That was cute. Actually, did I sell them coasters? I don't know. I think I did. I don't remember seeing them. My coasters are a good seller here. I make my coasters four inches. There's a few of them that are a little bit bigger. Depends on what print or something I'm using. I had a lady ask me, If the coaster gets wet, will it mess up my 
tabletop. And I was like, yeah, if you get it soaking wet. <laughs> I, I didn't say it smart like I just did, but <laughs> it was an older lady. I'm like, duh. If you leave a cup, a big glass with a big, with a lot of ice in it and you just go somewhere, yeah, it's going to mess up your table. Just saying. Sometimes you got to use your common sense. I don't use um, cork on the bottom. That's a little bit extra foo-foo. <laughs> Too much foo-foo. Plus it costs more money. All right, what do you think? Is it looking good? Got a little bit more to go. Is the ribbon looking okay? I don't know. I'm, I'm just wrapping. Once you sew stuff together, it, it looks better. So maybe, it, maybe it'll look better. All right, is this enough? Is this enough? Alright, y'all. Just put a clip on it. I love my wonder clips. Alright, did I make enough? Yep, I went a little further. Which is cool. Okay, we're gonna see. I, I just saw a peekaboo hole. Oh, it's because of the way I wrapped it. Here we go. So I'm going to keep it leaning a little bit. I'm pushing the bowl back outward so it'll curve outward. Come on. bit past. I forgot I was pulling it the other direction. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, come on, Ribbon. Stop snagging on my hand. Quit. Quit. Come on. I tried to get it as close as the other one. Alright. Now, should I do another row of plain and then wrap it? Or should I wrap it all the way around? See, I got a couple more rows left on here. So I need to go get that string. What do you think? One row of plain, two rows of plain. Let's see. Save your scraps. <laughs> Sticking to my fingers. Alright, can you see how it's curving outward now? You see how it's curving outward? Oh, my fingers. I want it to do that. Now. Hmm. One row or two rows? 
I gotta break it, you know, like I did here. Well, I don't have to, but you like to string up at the top. Hi, Christy, how are you? Where do you get the big white cord? This is Walmart's rope. It's not white white. It's like a cream color. It probably looks white on here. Hang on a minute. Let me grab that uh, string that I was wrapping with. Hold on one minute. Y'all conversate with each other. Coming back. One thing about my house, it's small enough. It only takes two seconds to go in the living room. <laughs> All right, this is the string I'm using. This is the string I'm using. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. It is a nylon micro nylon micro string. I don't remember the name of it. I think it's called Sizzle. It might be Sizzle. Something like that. Alright, so it's black and turquoise and light blue. Alright, y'all. So all I'm doing is like a braid. That's all I'm doing. You can wrap it or braid it. I'm tying a knot. That's that's the macrame in me. I'm tying a knot. Whoop, get back up there. Alright, so I'm going to put the knot on the bottom. Tuck it so it'll get sewn over. There we go. So all I'm going to do is like a criss and cross like a braid. Mind view. Oh shoot, I'm not gonna. All right, be still. You're on camera. Be still. So all you're doing is like a braid. Here, let me put it in my foot. Ta-da! All you're doing is a braid. I try to. Do it the same length. That's all I'm doing. See that? Simple, y'all. Simple. Y'all gotta experiment with things. I know y'all like me to do it first <laughs> it's all right it's cool if you do different crafts like i do you got different things in your room the craft room that you can wrap around a piece of rope and change the look of the rope and sometimes, uh oh, I spaced this one out, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Don't worry about it. Won't nobody know. Unless they watch my video. All right. Crisscross. Doing it like you're braiding. Sort of. Pretty neat. Pretty neat, y'all. Pretty neat. Yeah, sometimes I don't like to give my secrets up. <laughs> yeah, there's some people just don't appreciate um, learning something that I did on a video. 
they'll be in another group posting something like they did it. I'm like, whatever. I know you in my video. I know everybody that subscribed. <laughs> it's all right. I don't mind. If I put it on the internet, it's on the internet. This is a little bit time consumed, but I'm used to I'm used to torturing my poor little hands. Hey y'all, I painted my fingernails yesterday. What? I even did one extra a different color. I had to cut my fingernails back because they were breaking at work. I cleaned 15 rooms the other day. So that's 15 beds. There are queens and... There's two queens in one room. And then the, when it's a king, there's just one bed. So I made all of those beds. Whew! <laughs> and then some of the sheets are... They're shrunk. They shrank and they're like tidy whitey <laughs> that's what I call them <coughs> and I have to pull extra hard to get that one curve with the fitted corner and broke one of my fingernails they went pop I was like oh which finger was that I forgot which one it was I think it was my middle finger it went all the way down. It didn't get all the way to the, the skin, but. Yeah, my fingertips was hurting. Alright, let me put a clip right here and see how long it is. I think I might do two rounds. I'm just going to sew it up and see. Alright, I don't ever backstitch when I'm doing my bowls. Because it shows when you backstitch, especially when you're using color um, thread. So I'm not really pushing it outward now. I am a little bit, not like I was. Hey, where's Jill at? She usually catches me. Do we have both Sharons today? We usually have two Sharons and Jill. We got three people. Hi, Ruth. How are you? I have... Jerome. Okay. It's probably too late to say that, but... Okay, Christy. Yeah, the video will still be up. All right. Hmm. But that don't look too bad. All right, so I'm going to finish wrapping it. Hopefully I cut enough string for the second round. If not, it'll be all right. I can add some more. Chris cross. Do it like you're braiding. I'm not doing it fast because I want it, you know, to look neat. So I'm doing one section at a time. I hold it. Pull this string. Pull this one that way. I think I went off camera. <laughs> It's a little extra work, but it's cute. Just a little bit extra work. But so far, I'm the only one that's doing this kind of <coughs> crisscrossing. <coughs> I didn't give up my secret the last time I did it. 
people were trying to figure it out. <laughs> Am I mean? No. I'm just special. Do you agree? Am I special? My chair is squeaky. Alright. I'm just special. Special. Alright. You see how I'm using my one finger? I, I lift it up. That's because I'm macrame. I've macrame since I was a teenager, off and on for years. Pandemic, everybody's doing everything now. It's like, eh, y'all can play with macrame. It's cool. I actually sold all my macrame cord during pandemic. I hate I did it now. <laughs> There's a lady, uh, she lived in Myrtle Beach. She drove all the way here to get it. It was a big bag full of it. I was holding on to it because it was hard to find. And then, pandemic, everything just like, oh. Let's sell that. Everybody's macrame now. I had some vintage um, macrame cord. Oh, look at here. That's right on it. That's right on it. Yes. All right, I need to tie it in a knot. I couldn't have done that better if I tried. All right, come on. Get in there. My fingers don't work like they used to. Come on. It's mainly my thumb. I'm not getting old. I'm just overworked. Alright, so I'm going to cut this. This nylon string, um, you can burn the ends to keep it from fraying. But... It's going to be tucked in there and sewn over. It ain't going nowhere. Alright, do I have enough for one more row? Or should that be it? If not, I got enough for a bracelet. Alright, I think I'm going to do it. Close your eyes. See, I got enough for a bracelet. Alright, so this has got the filler inside of it. Good old Walmart rope. I haven't bought any uh, Walmart rope in a while. Everybody's saying the quality has changed. Um... I had some rope give to me recently, so I hadn't <clears throat> needed to buy any. Plus, I have Amber's um, Amber's rope, which I have to pull out my other sewing machine for that rope. That rope's a little bit um, more sturdy. All right, all right, yeah. It's pretty sturdy. Look at there. Alright, where do I want this seashell? So you can see my... Where I ended on that one. So I might want to cover that up. And this, I'm going to burn that. I got a lighter right here. Do I want it right there? Do I want it sideways? No. Do I want it like that? That's kind of cute. I 
trying to place it to cover up <coughs> the end of the rope here. Cute. Or I could put it down further. I like it down further. What do you think? Should I go up or down? What do you think? Oh, we got two people. Oh, Sharon's got to go back to work. You like it right here or up here farther? We got two people. Three people. Should I do it down here or up higher? That ribbon looks kind of cool like that. I'm glad we went with it. All right, y'all. Ain't nobody saying nothing. I kind of like it down further. Let's do it. I got some spray adhesive I'm going to spray in the back. Oh, my head's in the way. My 50 cent ha um, hairspray. <laughs> No, I don't think I want this in my hair. <laughs> no. Nope. All right, I sprayed it. Now I get to, I get to be high for a few minutes. Hey, where did I have it? stuck to my finger. Is that where I want it? So I'm gently pushing it down. Trying to get wrinkles and get it to curve where I want it. And ta da! Now we're going to zigzag a smaller stitch around it. Y'all think I'm crazy. Laurel, you always doing something difficult. Because I can. Alright, put my foot down. I'm going to stitch a smaller zigzag. See if I can do it real small. You don't want to do it too small without um, the iron on stabilizer. All right, I got consummate, consummate trait. I might have to scoot up so I can see down in here. All right, are you going to... I had to get that little wrinkle out. to buy some different coffee oh my god have y'all seen the prices of coffee now good grief they, they bumped their head i might have to stop drinking coffee so anyway my regular coffee i buy has gone up from seven dollars to down twelve dollars so 
I had to buy a store brand in a smaller can and I don't like the taste of it. <laughs> it threw my taste buds completely off this morning. Alright, where am I at? Uh -huh. I lost where I was at here. Oh. Now I gotta pull my thread back up. There we go. Turn. Anyway, <clears throat> that coffee, not only it tasted awful, it um, kind of gave me coffee jitter. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. Trimming my string here. And then I'm going to burn it. Let's see if I can burn it without burning the thread. That turned out kind of pretty. What you think? So now I'm going to do, do a few straight stitches. We're going to quilt it. Y'all know I don't know how to quilt. I do my best. Alright, where do I want to start? So I'm doing a wider stitch. Should have been doing it the other way. Oh, I got a hot mess with all these strings. Alright. So I'm just doing a straight stitch. I'm following, you know, some of the lines. Not all of them. Alright. Do a back stitch this time, Laurel. Is that where I want it? There we go. I did it. I did it. So it's going to get the wrinkle out and it's going to hold it in there longer in case somebody throws it in the washing machine. And it's going to give it a, a different look. Y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'm just following the lines on the pattern of the seashell. A little tedious. I probably should use a smaller foot, but I'm used to this one, so... You know how Laurel rolls with it. Alright. Is that where I want it? Okay. Do, 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 do. Alright. Is there another spot I can do another one? Yep. So I'm trying to do it equal parts apart. Equal parts apart. Is that a word? Did I say that correctly? If I didn't, it's a new word of the day. Alright, where do I want this one? I think I followed that brown one. Uh-oh, I lost vision.
Y'all know I do things different than everybody. Why not? I make my bowls look like art. Okay. Now I gotta cut all these strings up and fix the shape. <laughs> oh, she's hairy. She's got a beard. She's got a beard. Speaking of beards, I used to have this BFF, best friend. We fell out. But anyway, <laughs> I seen something on her neck, under well, on her chin, under her chin, like on her neck. I thought it was just a piece of fuzz or something. <laughs> Cat hair. <laughs> I said, hold on, you got something under your chin. I pulled it. <laughs> she said, ow, she called me the B word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right, ladies, what do you think? Can you here? Let me zoom in. in. We got five people. <laughs> All right, can you see the stitches that I just did? All I did was stitch them. I stitched it down. Here, if I hold it still, you can see it. And then I did a zigzag around it. Ta-da! Ain't that cute? That turned out pretty. That one row of ribbon. What do you think? I like it. Can you see how the shape... Can you see the shape that it made? Yeah, let me zoom back out. See how I curved it out a little bit? It's hard to see it. But it it goes outward. It's hard to see it in the camera. Maybe if I hold there you go. You see it now? See how it forms when you tip it back outward? So this part here was all the way up against this part of the sewing machine. When I got to here, I started pushing it outward. So I did it like that. You see the shape that it gave? Cool beans. She's pretty sturdy. Cool beans, cool beans. I was thinking about putting another shell in it, but I don't think it needs that. It's pretty all by itself. I make it look so easy. Hi, Lisa. How are you? <laughs> well, it's almost six years that I'll be making bowls. And I kind of... I got to fix the shape. Right here, where I sewed the seashell, it kind of flattened it there. Up, oh, I missed the string too. I missed the string, two strings, one string. I don't know. I missed the string, but all I did was crisscross braid with string. I wrapped this rope with this uh, string, Hobby Lobby, and I tilted my bowl outward, and I got to cut my threads a little bit closer. You see how I tilted it back outward? How did I have it a minute ago? Oh, I see another string. That turned out cute. I like it. Hi, 
like it, I like it. Now I want to do another one. I had a little idea, too, that I wanted to play with. Hmm. All right, y'all. Have a little play at it now. All you do is do a little fussy cut. This is the fabric that I used. Right there's where I cut him out. This is Alexander Henry fabric. Na oh, 1993. Dang, this is vintage. Uh-oh. Does that mean I can charge more? <laughs> Does it mean I can charge more because it's vintage? I can if I want. It's my bowl. <laughs> hmm. All right, ladies. I am going to say good day. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day and have a little experiment. Go look in your craft room and see what you got. See what you can wrap around some rope. And if you're in my Facebook group, don't forget to post, uh, post a picture. If you don't want to post it, which I understand, you can send me a um, Facebook message and send a picture to me. Yeah, a lot of the people are not posting pictures because you know people are copying and they don't want people to copy but anyway but yeah you can send me a um, picture through the messenger if you want to all right ladies love y'all give me a like subscribe and a comment and I don't know if I still have the super thanks or not. Um, that helps when you do. And peace. Love y'all. Y'all be careful out there. Bye. Uh-oh, we got six people. Bye, y'all. Seven. Oh, I just made this. Y'all missed it. And I conformed... The bowl conformed is that the word <laughs> anyway bye y'all love you don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and a comment bye